From Bangkok, most of our team traveled to Pattaya, a city built entirely around sex tourism. In a city filled with idol worship, transvestites and prostitutes, our Iris Thailand team asked the question, what does love look like in Pattaya? It's a typical bar where the ladies just sit there and any customer can come and pick up the ladies. Patty is much more out in the open, in your face, open bars. And so I don't think they can, they can be as scandalous as the ones we saw in Bangkok. It's much more out in the open. Here we are in the um, beauty salon and it is in one of the most um, dark alleys in Pattaya, there's uh, bars everywhere, and what we're doing tonight is writing little love notes to the women, and um, some um, who are not really women, and, and just giving them roses, and just letting them know how much Jesus loves them, and, and how much we love them, and, and that God has a plan for their lives, and, and we just want to see, we just want to plant this seed to that. Just, just how intimate Jesus wants to be with them, uh, a pure intimacy, and, and they're truly, truly loved. And so we hope to be able to reach out tonight and, and be able to do this. And we're really excited. Yeah, roses and little I love you notes. Um, and Jesus <laughs> loves you, more Jesus loves you than I love you. And we are going to take them to a bar and give them to ladies. She's oh, cool. Okay, so here we are in an area of Pattaya that is very known for um, sweatshops of kids and for child slavery and sex trafficking. Uh, this is in Pattaya. There are many areas of the city that are um, being helped. There's Christian ministries. There's other ministries established. But this area of town, there are no ministries to the kids. There's nothing established, no Christian um, organizations or anything. And earlier this evening, we had dinner with a couple from the States who feel called to move here, specifically to, to bring the power of God and the glory of God uh, to this section of town. And they have in their heart a specific building that they feel God has called them to. So we're going to prayer walk the area and just really help them just lay the foundations of the presence of God in hopes that they will be able to start a children's center for kids at the safe house to come in and to play and just be saturated in the presence of God. Hi, we're Jason, Sarah Ricketts, and you're here in Hatia. We are in the area known for child prostitution. And directly behind this building are hotels and houses where um, activities, pornography is produced and made and issues with children. And we are hoping to open a children a children's center straight back. We'll take you back there to see the building soon. Um, it's an area, like I said, that's known for prostitution, and we want to be a light in the middle of the darkness and to have worship and prayer and teams um, activities in the daytime for kids to come in a safe place at night where they can have food, shower, whatever, to build relationships inside the community and um, to see God's light shining brightly in this dark, dark area. Gay restaurants, gay, you can see massage by men, different things. It's just the homosexual area of town. After laying hands on Jason and Sarah and praying for their ministry, our team headed to Soy 6, where we had an awesome time of worship at the Patia House of Prayer. Here in the dark, one of the darkest places in the world, um, this area of Pattaya, where it's all pro pro prostitutes and ladyboys, and okay. we're bringing the love of Jesus. We just had an awesome worship time, uh, singing over the city. We're, we're loving prostitutes with Jesus' love. We're loving ladyboys. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Right 
Pra Yesu Raccoon. So here we are at the Patia Slum, one of them. Oh, we are going to do a children's program. And right now we're just hanging out with the kids, reading stories, running around, playing. And a little bit later, we are going to play some games, sing some songs, teach them how to hear God's voice, and how to pray for each other for healing, and probably play a little bit more games, and then that'll be the end of our children's day. Here we are in Patia, and we're at the Crossing, which is like a skateboard ministry or outreach to the youth here in Patia. And um, you know, basically, we're just kind of coming out today and, and handing out invitations to people for the block party that we'll be holding here on Saturday. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to be having some skate. We'll just skate with the kids. Um, we'll have some. Uh, video games going on with the Wii system, and we'll be roasting a pig and having a good time. So, um, yeah, we're excited, and we'll see who comes out. I know God's going to do some sweet things. So Jesse and I skated with the youth at the Crossing Youth Center. That's like a good part It is not a human right to stand up by my broken nation. What's your, what's your name again, bro? Nye. Nye, yeah, that's right. It didn't take us long to see that the youth yeah. of Patia had some mad skills of their own. Juan is the youth center man here, huh? Yeah, you're youth pastor, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Juan's my friend. Our team threw a block party at the Patia Youth Center, Iris Thailand style. Our team was able to pray for the sick at the block party. As we concluded our time in Patia, we looked back and saw the fingerprints of God on everything that we did. Our Iris Thailand trip was a huge success. Hard Rock Cafe! Our Iris Thailand team realized that we could both work hard and play hard too. I'm eating a grasshopper. It looks pretty good, does it you? Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna eat it. Pop it in my mouth. No problem, ma'am. Sabita, I'm just taking off the shower there. Eat it. Okay, and you want to have them too. So, Mr. Sabito, I'm gonna bite it. It's not bad actually. It's not bad at all. Oh, you ate the head off the frog. Ooh, and Zoe's eating the frog leg too. Yummy! Missionary family right here, eating frogs. Frogs are so good. Everyone should get some frogs. Buy them at your local supermarket today. <laughs> this is a cricket. It usually makes noise, but right now, it's going bye-bye. Oh, I hear it chirping in your mouth. Yum, yum. Yum, yum. Nothing. 
Now what's this larva doing right now? She that was actually better tasting than the grasshopper. Uh -huh. The larva is coming out of the butt or of a bigger larva. Wow. Whatever that thing is. Wow. The orifice. Oh, the bigger butt. Wow, hey man, can you eat this one? I don't, I don't feel like eating this one. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Eat it. What is it? What is it?